Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mech Tech Keyboards with another transmission from Keyb World. World, World, World. Today we're taking a quick unboxing. We'll look at a keyboard that, uh, my name is Anthony, one of the uh, great subredditor on the Budget Keeps community. I came across this the other day. It's on Amazon right now. It's listed for $26 with a $5 off coupon. It's roughly $22 shipped. And it's a 60% board. He said it reminded him of the RK61. Looking at it, I believe it's very similar. Now, it is, uh, I've never heard of this company. So, but as we all know, a lot of the budget boards are rebranded and, um, you know, sold by different, uh, different brands, basically. Um, so they're kind of white label, even though this one is listed as 61 key classic TKL model. Um, obviously this is, yes, it, it is a TKL, but it's not a TKL. Uh, you know, it comes with some basic packaging, nothing too fancy. Um, got your serial number, your model, it's an i61, it comes with red switches. Uh, it's white, 61 key, and it's RGB. I believe there is a rainbow version of this one. Rainbow means that all the colors are already set. You, you have, you know, RGB colors, but they don't change. So this is RGB, meaning you can get all the gamut of colors. All right, so out of the box, we have got the keyboard. We've got an instruction manual. Let's see everything else first. Let me get the keyboard. What else do we got in here? Oh, just the basics. Keycap cooler and a USB-C, USB-A cable. Other than that, nothing else. And a manual. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. Take this out of the bag put that there. Take a look at the manual, just real brief. I'm sure it has the instructions, what it includes. Um, well, nice diagram of how to connect it in case you don't know. Uh, how to control the backlights. Yeah, the, ba the function um, backslash. That's uh, I think that's the same as the RK if I'm not mistaken. And then it has all the shortcut keys, how to use the arrow keys. So, you know, decent little, little manual. Let's set that aside for now. <clears throat> Now we have a 60% kit. Now this definitely reminds me, I mean, obviously not that, but it's, well, except for the port, this appears to be an RK61. But pull out an RK61. Yeah, look at that, I mean. All right, the feet on the RK61 are slightly taller. Just a tad bit. Hmm. That's all. Let me see. Oh, yeah, just by the... I'd say like half a millimeter, maybe. But, yeah, it stands just a little bit taller. But, as you can see from the bottoms, uh, they're almost exactly the same, I mean, as far as the cutouts go, that weren't cut out, that are over here as well. And you got your four main screws that hold the plate down. Now, like I said on the RK61, you've got this. On this one, you've got it basically in the middle. And, oh. Well, this one does have silicone. Although this one actually feels a lot more substantial. I remember the RK weighing. I don't have it stocked, so I can't weigh the RK against this. But um, it definitely feels a lot more substantial. Now let's take a look. We've got reds. What kind of reds do we We've got. I love B. So they they've branded their own switches. I would venture to guess that these are probably Otemi. Um, don't take me for it. Uh, but I don't know, obviously. But one of the things that I know this board has is not your normal Kale hot swap sockets, but it's these newer. We're going to be seeing. A lot, actually, many, many, if not all, of the new uh, budget boards are going to have, if they're hot swap, they're going to have these type of sockets. They are little boxes in the back, and I'll get into more in depth. I 
I, I covered this with my Red Dragon caster bow uh, because they have the same kind. They're little boxes instead of one little arm that has both of the sockets. They're just little boxes that sit there, but they will take any switch and couldn't, including, I mean, for those of us who have been doing budget keyboards for a while, we know of the Otemu CIY socket, you know, the, the round ones, which works with a lot of the cheaper switches, but doesn't work with a lot of the other switches, but specifically Kale, because Kale does have a wider leg. That main leg is wider, so it doesn't fit a lot of the hot swap sockets. But here's a $20 hot swap kit that fits a kale hot shop socket so um it is a 60 percent so i'm not going to say this is going to give a run for the uh tester 68 since that's a 65 percent and it's wireless only but wired only board 20 20 bucks sounds and feels pretty good out of the box like i said i'm going to do a sound test here at the end but i mean so far i'm actually kind of surprised um Stabilizers do not sound that bad. Let's take a look here. Huh. They are lubed. And, oh, come on. I know I have. There we go. So, they do come nicely lubed. And... Oh wow, they, these are, whoa, these are solid as can be. There's no need to tape mod them. They are solidly on the plate. Huh. And we ought, we could also, actually, I think, let's open up another one here. I think I see uh, foam between the plate and the PCB. I just wanna make sure. Yep. Yep. Looks. Look at that. We have foam between the plate and the PCB on a twenty-dollar board. I mean, I gotta say, because I mean, don't get me wrong. I I understand these are cheap switches, but I opened up. up I open them up and loop them. They're gonna be okay. They're not gonna be the best. No, but they're gonna be fine. And I mean, it's not like they're headache inducing right now I mean they're actually not that bad I'm honestly I'm I'm surprised I'm honestly surprised at how well this kit sounds like maybe you can hear my cat crying anyway so I I'm definitely gonna open this up I'm gonna get rid of the um, logo I may use this one as one of my um, I'm gonna be doing a series on painting uh, plastic I am not I'm by no means a professional but I have painted a lot of stuff over the years and I've learned excuse me especially like with uh, 3d models I used to just paint regular old you know glue glue together models the one with the good glue if you know what I mean <laughs> so anyway um, I'm gonna be doing a series of those maybe I'll pick that I was thinking of doing probably this one first it's a little numpad that I I bought uh, real cheap. It just has a single blue light LED behind it. I'm gonna put some Nomax socket swap, Nomax hot swap sockets in it, um, 0305s, and then I'm also gonna paint this up and see what I can do with it. Make something cool. Uh, but so for right now, um, I'm gonna leave you with a, a sound test of this interesting board, and I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna modify this thing. I'm actually looking forward to it. I. 60% boards take a little get, get getting used to and don't get me wrong it's not the easiest but once you get used to you can actually be more productive I mean like people that use 60% boards and 40% boards um, they can be and I've seen them I've worked with them they can be extremely productive actually more productive and they hardly touch the mouse especially and those are the, the folks that like them you know <laughs> the I um, as a text editor if you don't know what I'm talking about then don't worry about it you don't want to know anyway uh for you know roughly 20 bucks and change uh a 60 percent kit hot swamp that accepts any sockets um comes with the switches and the keys and um that's another thing i wanted to see about these keys 
So they are double shot. And they are not super thick. Honestly. I don't know why I forgot. I meant to do this, but that's what you get with streaming cash. Alright, so let's zero this out. Alright. What have we got? Ooh. One three. One point four almost. Ah. All right, one and a quarter. Let's say it's one and a quarter. Although the side the side walls do look slightly thicker, and yeah, they come in, yeah. So it's like one and a quarter and one and a half, no, well, or one and a third. But they're definitely over a millimeter, which actually bodes well. I, I am. Um, oh, this though. But the RK61 does that, so I don't know if you noticed, but that's not where that function key should be sitting. What should always be sitting at the corner there? Control. That's what should be sitting there. And, uh, all right, so we tested the keys. Let's just look at the lights here real quick. Um, all right, so they're not too bad. I like the fact that this isn't actually a shine through key cams. That usually they're like, well, if it's got RGB, we've got to do a shine through. So even though this isn't the most amazing key cap set, it's actually better than what I expect for a, um, a cheap board. And the key caps are actually as thick, if not just a tad bit thicker, than the ASA key cap that I just tried on the 5075 Aka. But that's, uh, that's another story. So let's cycle through a. Uh... Lights are good. They're they're not the brightest, but they they aren't the dimmest either. Yeah, you can definitely see the colors. Set up the brightness. Hmm. Has some pretty good effects. So again. For uh, $22 and change uh, from Amazon so far, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. I think I got a good value for my money, and I definitely think that I can get this sounding and feeling like a great kit. Um, just now I'm curious what switches I'm going to put on it, or maybe I'll just mod it and lube the red switches and keep these caps on here and see how good I can get it to sound with just what it comes on with it and then take it to the next up. I think that might be more interesting of a journey. What do you guys think? Huh? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, I wish you guys all love and peace. Keep calm. Keyboard on. Stay tuned. Sound test is next.